Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I just want to do a quick brush declutter. My larger brush, like, bin that I have, or it's actually like a big glass cup, is getting a little bit too full, and these are getting really, really overwhelming, and I know that I don't use half of those that are in there. I have since found better replacements, so I want to go through these with you guys and tell you what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of, and... Yeah, go from there. So I want to first start out with the ones I use every single day. Okay, so I want to start with the It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation brush. I'm definitely keeping this. I use this for, for my powder foundation every single day, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep both of these larger fan brushes. I use these to diffuse my highlighters. I love both of these. This one's super duper soft. This one's a little bit more coarse, um, but this one is a little bit looser packed and this is a little bit more tighter packed. So I use them just interchangeably. Honestly, I really like them both. So I'm going to keep them both. Definitely keeping these two. This one is my very dense highlighting brush. It's a tapered highlighting brush from SL Miss Glam that I got in a Ipsy. Love this one. And then this one I got from those Tarte Beauty deals. They were like $63 for that beauty kit. And this one I use for contouring every single day. I love this one. This one doesn't actually have a name on it, but here is what it looks like in case you're interested. Um, I'm not sure what this one is called, but it's pretty densely packed and I love it for um, contouring so that's my favorite contour brush these two here this one I have cleaned because I won't use this one until this one is too dirty to use but I use them both for my blush and I use them very interchangeably they work perfectly fine this one is the real Techn real techniques blush brush and this one I got in a boxy charm it's the moda pro um, pointed blush brush so I love them both and I'm keeping them both this one I use as my all out all over face powder brush. This one is for when I use liquid foundation and I need to set my foundation. I use this one and this one is from Royal and Langnickel. I think I got this one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I got this one. Maybe in a boxy charm, but I think I got this one at a store. I'm not really sure, honestly. So I'll try to link if I can find it, but I love this one. It's very, very dome shaped and very soft. I love this one. Then this e.l.f. brush. I'm not sure what this one is called. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's very fluffy and very loosely packed. I use this one for my bronzer every single day. Love this one. Definitely keeping. This, um, nope, it's not that one. It's this one. <laughs> this one I use every single day as well. It is from Luxie. It's the 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. And it is a very, very loosely packed, very um, flimsy brush. But as you can see, it's pink. I use it to put my um, blush topper on because I don't want my blush topper to be super thick. So I just kind of swirl it on where I want it and it gives a very, very light coating of a blush topper. So I love this one. This one is definitely going to be capped. It is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I don't use this one for highlighting. I actually use this one for sweeping powder under my eyes. You guys know I don't use um, concealer, so I use this one instead. So that's why it's got more of a yellow tint to it because I use it to brighten my under eyes with a powder. So definitely keeping that. Now here, I'm going to move this over. We get into the brushes that I don't use all that often. <sighs> Sorry, you can hear my kid in the background, but I kind of want to just slowly go through these and figure out which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of. Um, these three here are honestly like all the same. They're all duo fiber um, brushes and these are for like cream. I'm trying to figure out which ones I like. Um, I think out of these three, I think I'm going to keep this one, this elf one, just because it's a little bit more densely packed and I feel like that would be better for my cream. This one is from Crown Brushes and it is, it doesn't say which one it is, but I'm sure I got it in a boxy charm or something. And then this one is a little tiny Luxie 52 for T brush, I'm going to get rid of these two and I'm going to keep the e.l.f. brush. Um, next, I have these two flat 
I think they're called flat kabuki brushes, I want to say. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I don't need these anymore. I don't use brushes for my foundation anymore. This is what I used to use when I used liquid foundation a while back. And I don't need either of these. They are both the same brush, but they have a different density on each of them. So I'm not sure why that is, but they are the same brush. And I'm going to get rid of both of them. Now we're getting into the harder brushes. So out of these two brushes, I would use these both for my body. This would be a body brush. This one's actually very, very dense. And this one is a little bit more flimsy. And this one actually has a really, like this handle is really ergonomic for my hand. Um, and this one, I don't know. I just don't like it as much. So I think I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. brush and keep the Tarte brush. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it came in one of those kits as well. And it's just kind of like a flat brush. So I'm going to keep the Tarte one, get rid of the e.l.f. This one here from Tarte, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I was using this side to set my under eyes and this side to bronze and to do my face powder, but honestly I don't like the dual ended brushes because then I can't put it nicely in a jar because then the bottom parts gets ruined. So I am going to get rid of this one. It is a really nice high quality brush, honestly, but I don't like the fact that it's dual ended. That really, I know it saves space if you're traveling and stuff like that, but it's just not for me. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm, oh, well, that just happened. I'm also going to get rid of this like little artiste brush. It's from Crown Brushes and it came in a boxy charm. Um, I just don't use it, honestly, and I'm not going to. So I'm going to put the cat back on it and give it to somebody. Okay, so these are all the brushes I have left to go through. I am going to get rid of this brush here. It is from Bare Minerals. It's that foundation brush where you're supposed to put like the dabble of foundation in there and like rub it all over. It left streaks all over my face. So I am going to get rid of this one. Oh, this one I'm definitely going to keep. It's the Moda Pro. It's like that angled brush. I like this one. I need a more densely packed under eye setting. I really, really enjoy this one. So I'm going to keep this one as well. It's the chisel brush. I really like this one. Um, these two are both like the exact same brush. They have like that angle and they're very loosely packed. This one's from Lorac and this one's from Glamour Dolls. And this is the Lisa Frank one. And this one just is one that came with a set, I think. Um, honestly, I don't really use these very often, but I have used this pink one from Glamour Dolls a few more times than I've used this one. So I'm going to get rid of the Lorac one and keep the Glamour Dolls. These two are also both the exact same brush. This one's angled because of the way it was in my bin. This one is not. Um, this one I would use for either highlighting or setting my under eye. I think I'm gonna get rid of the one that I kind of have angled here and keep this other one. I'm not sure what these are called. Oh, here it is, highlighting brush. But they're both the same brush, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep this one. Okay, so these three are all very similar brushes here. Um, gosh, I'm trying to figure out. I have used this one a couple times for cream contour, and I really liked it. Um, but I don't know. It's like so dense. Maybe I would use this for contour. I'm going to keep this one and try it out for contour. And if I don't like it, um, like I like that Tarte one, then I'm going to get rid of it. And this one is from Crown Brushes. I got it in a boxy charm, I'm sure. Then this Me, Me, Me brush. I don't know. I think I got this in an Ipsy. It's just like a blush brush. I'm not going to use this one, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then this one is from e.l.f. This is like a very small bl brush bl brush. Oh my god, this is a very small blush brush and I have used this quite a few times for blush just for putting on that like color on the apples of my cheeks when I want it to be a little bit more intense. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so this one used to be my favorite brush for bronzer, but it's really like flimsy at the ferrule. It's kind of like broken and honestly I like a looser, densed brush. Dense. I like a looser, fluffier brush now for bronzer, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I didn't think I was going to, but I think I am. And the fact that it's like coming off the ferrule, I just that bothers me. So I'm going to get rid of this Tarte brush. 
I think I'm going to keep this um, Luxie 514 blush brush. I don't use this one for blush as often as I use the other ones, but I really like this one when I want a really diffused blush look, like really, really light blush look. I do like this one, and I have used this to set powder um, on my face as well. So I'm going to keep this Luxie brush. Then I have these two left. So this one is a very like dome shaped brush from e.l.f. It is the foundation blurring brush. I obviously haven't used this very many times. I have washed it, but I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't need it. And yeah, I'm not going to use it for anything. So I'm going to get rid of this. And this is my favorite brush. It's the Morphe M439. And this is my favorite brush for putting on liquid foundation. When I was using a brush, um, I might go back to that. I highly doubt it, but I might. And if not, then I can use this to bake because it's so densely packed. And I really do like this a lot. And I got it on Hot Look for like half off. So I really, really do like this brush and I'm gonna keep this one. So these are all of the brushes that I ended up keeping in that whole big bundle. I ended up keeping 20 brushes. So I'm gonna put these back really quickly and show you the ones that I didn't end up keeping. But I think 20 is a good number to have and I'm happy. I'm looking through all of these and I'm really happy with all of these. Yeah, I'm happy with all these so I'm gonna keep all of them. Okay guys, and these are all of the brushes that I am getting rid of. Now that I'm looking at this, I feel like I got rid of a lot of brushes and I'm really, really happy about that because these were just cluttering up my space and I don't like that. So I got rid of 13 brushes. So that's almost half. Well, I guess it's like 35%. But yeah, I got rid of 13 brushes. I kept 20. I'm super happy about that number and I'm glad to get these out of my collection and give them to someone else that can love them and use them, especially ones that haven't even been touched or used like this one. You know what I mean? And just give them a new home and, you know, something fun to do because brushes need to get used. So anyways, those were all of my large size brushes. Now I'm going to go to my eye brushes. Okay hey guys, so this is all of my eye brushes that I have. I know I have a lot, but I know a lot of these are duplicates because I don't like to wash my brushes very often because I am a lazy, lazy lady. So I wanna go through these and pick out the ones that I know I'm gonna use every single day. I'm gonna put them back in this jar here. Um, I really love this jar. I think I got it from Target. Let's see, it's called the Pencil Cup and I'm pretty sure I got it from Target. Yep, Target. So I really love this. This is what I use for my um, brushes, if you're curious. But I'm going to put the ones I'm keeping back in here and then the ones I'm getting rid of in my declutter bin. So let's go ahead and start this. So right off the bat, I want to go in with my first step, which is like my priming step. I always go in with like an angled brush. I just got this one from Firma and this one was in my Ipsy. I'm going to keep this one and try it out. I haven't tried this one yet. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this Luxie brush in the, sh in the number 207 medium angled shading brush. I use this one to set my lids. So I'm definitely going to keep this. It's just an angled fluffy brush. Um, those are really the only two I need for setting my lids, to be completely honest. I'm, yeah, I'm good with just those two. I'm going to get rid of this one here. This is the Ulta eyeshadow brush. It's just like a flat, small, very densely packed eyeshadow brush. I don't use this, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I don't use this either. This is a concealer brush, and it is from... Bean got grassies. I don't know. I must have got this in a boxy charm or something. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep this flat brush. Um, this is from Luxie. It's the 221 flat definer brush, and I really like this for under the eyes and for creating a wing. It's really, really nice and dense, and I just really enjoy this one.
Okay, these are some different fluffy crease brushes that I really like. This is from Moda Pro. It is the crease brush. This one is the Mally Beauty crease brush. This one is from Elizabeth Mott, and it is the blending brush. This one is from Luxie. It's the 205 tapered blending brush right there. And this last one is from ColourPop, and there's no name on it. Um, it's just like a kind of densely packed crease brush. I use all of these for my crease, so I'm going to keep them all. Um, I use this pencil brush simply because this is like the only pencil brush I have. I have re recently cleaned it because it was getting really gross. And this is from Crown. It's the C513. I got this in a box or something, but I'm going to keep this until I can find something better. I don't really like it. It's very, um, it's very not soft. It kind of hurts my eyes when I use it, but it's the only one I have. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I'm gonna keep these five as well. This is my favorite outer corner brush. It is the Morphe E17 brush. I really like that one. This is from Glamour Dolls, and it is just the cutest little brush ever, but I like that one. Obviously, they're very, very similar. This one is from Glamour Dolls as well. No name on that one either. I just recently cleaned some of these. This one's from Luxie. It's the 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I really like that one. It's pretty dirty. Um, this one's also from Luxie. It's the, the 235 Blending Brush. It's a little bit thicker and denser, and it's better for blowing out that outer crease. I really like all these. I'm going to keep them all. This one I really like for the outer corner and for putting um, very colorful shades on my lid that I don't want to show up too bright. I want to like blend them out a little bit. I really like this one. This one's from IBY Beauty and it is the crease brush. Oh, this is the other one I really love. This is from Scone and it's the smudger brush. I love this one for inner corner. It is the perfect size and density. Love this one. This Luxie 215 small angled brush I use for under my eyes on very, very dark colors that I want very close to my eye line. Enjoy that one. Okay, now we're getting into some brushes that I definitely don't need. So let me pick out all of the ones that are very similar to each other. So as you can see, these three e.l.f. brushes are literally the exact same brush. They're the small precision brush. And I don't think I even like these ones. It's just too dense and it kind of hurts my eyes. But I do like this one. It's a little bit looser and a little bit more flimsy. Um, so I'm going to keep this one. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. So I'm going to get rid of these small precision brushes from e.l.f. These three and I'm going to keep this one. forgot about this one. This one I also like to use for under the eyes. It is the Luxie 223 short shader brush. I really like that one and I like this one for getting really close to my upper lid eye line. It's really really nice and very densely packed. Definitely going to keep this one. This one I use for highlighting on the go like if I just want to do a quick um, like add on a little bit extra highlighting. This used to be my everyday highlighter brush, but I switched it out. So this is the um, setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to keep this one. This e.l.f. brush I don't need. It's another one of those like flat shader brushes. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, but I'm going to get rid of this one. So I'm trying to keep everything organized so you can still see stuff. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I just cleaned this one. It's really new looking. Um, it is the Luxie 237 blending brush and I really like this one for smoking out my edges and really softening up the look. Okay, so I forgot this brush when I was pulling out my crease brushes. This is the Airbrush Blending Crease Brush by It Cosmetics for Ulta. I really, really like this one. Um, it is the number 105 if you guys are curious. It's really nice for smudging out those edges. I'm going to keep these two as well. This one is also from It Cosmetics and it's the uh, 221 Eye Smudger. It's kind of like that flat one again, that really dense flat one. I like that one. And then this one is a lid brush from Morphe. It's the G15 brush. I do like this one. I don't use it all the time, but when I want a densely packed color, I do end up using this one. So I'm going to keep both of these. 
This is a brush that I've had around forever. This is my oldest brush in my collection and it's still going strong and I really still enjoy it. The way that it kind of like tapers out, I just, I don't know, it works perfectly. Any Anytime I want like a loose glitter on my eyes, I always use this one and it always turns out really, really well. It's from Face Secrets. It's the Eye Contour Brush and I'm pretty sure I got this at a drugstore or somewhere. I'm not even sure if they still sell this, but yeah, I really do like this one and it's the oldest brush in my collection. Okay, so now I want to kind of put together some of these brushes. So this brush is very, very similar to my, um, where is it? My ColourPop one that I kept. Here it is. These two are like super similar. This just is a little bit looser packed. This just has a little bit less in there. I'm gonna get rid of the e.l.f. one and keep the ColourPop one. Then out of these four brushes here, I have two Wet n Wild that are the exact same brush. Yep, this one I haven't even used. And then these two that are very, very similar. Honestly, I don't reach for the Wet n Wild ever and I reach for these way more often. This is the Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush and it's the pink one. And this one is from Royal and Langnickel. I think I got this in a boxy charm. It's the shader brush. So I'm gonna keep these two and get rid of the two Wet n Wild. This is another one that I actually end up using often. It is from Royal and Langnickel as well, and it is the detail brush. I really like this one if I'm looking for that outer corner detail and I want it really, really sharp. Um, then I had grabbed for this one, so I like this one. This ColourPop one here, that's very, very dirty because I've sprayed it so many times. Um, this one I actually use for all over the lid and it has no name on it because it was one of those first brushes that came out, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of this brush here. It's one of those concealer brushes again. And this one's from Coastal Scents. It's the BRCS or CS21. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Then I have two liner brushes here. I think I only kept one liner brush. So I think I'm gonna keep another one. This one looks like I've used it more often than this one, so I'm gonna keep the one that I've used. Although the ferrule is kinda of messed up on that one and it's not messed up on this one. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because the ferrule is messed up on it. The ferrule is perfectly fine on this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. There's no name on these. Then I'm gonna keep this last Luxie brush. It's more of a dense, flatter brush and this is the 229 tapered blending. I think I already kept one of these, but honestly, I use these Luxie brushes all the time. I really like them, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I have these three, four <laughs> e.l.f. brushes. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of these two all over shader brushes. I don't ever use them, honestly, and yeah, I already kept a couple of them. I don't need a bunch of them, so I'm gonna get rid of both of these. And then I have these two, and I like to use these for the outer corner. Honestly, I like this one more. This one's a little bit longer, so it kind of pushes down a little bit, and this one's a little bit more densely packed. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of this one. And then once again, I don't need both of these same brushes, so... You know what, I kept two of these already. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. This is the Wet n Wild brush, and this is the Elf brush. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I already kept some like this, so I don't need any more. So you guys, I did really good. I feel super happy about that. These are all the brushes that I am getting rid of, and I'm getting rid of 16 eye brushes. I'm really happy about all these that I'm getting rid of. I'm looking over them and there's nothing in here that I'm sad to get rid of or sad to see go. I'm really happy to see all these go. So 16 down. Okay, you guys, so these are all the brushes that I'm keeping. Much more colorful than the ones I got rid of. I really like brushes with different kind of handles and stuff because then I can see the handle and immediately know that's the brush I want. So I ended up keeping... Thirty-two. So I got rid of 16 and kept 32. That's half 
of what I kept. So I got rid of one third of my eye brush collection. I'm so happy about that. And looking through all of these, honestly, I'm so happy to keep all of these. I am not disappointed that I kept any of these. Um, like I said, as I go, if I don't like a brush when I'm using it, I'm just going to get rid of it on the spot because that's silly to keep putting brushes back that I don't like and cleaning brushes that I don't like. So these are all the brushes that I'm keeping and I'm very happy to see those other ones go and to see these in my cup and looking good. Okay guys, and finally for today, these, this is the last category that I am going to be decluttering. Um, honestly, I'm getting rid of all of them. Um, I don't use concealer anymore, so there's really no point. There is a hair. There is really no point in keeping any of these, to be totally honest. The ones that I've already used, I'm going to see if girlfriends at work want them. These two that I haven't used, this NYX one and this... Um, Dream Lumi Concealer by Maybelline. These ones haven't been used at all. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know, whatever, figure these out. But these ones have all been used and loved, but honestly I don't use concealer, so it's silly to keep all these in my collection. So now I have an empty glass cup that I don't know what I want to do with yet. Um, I think I'm going to start putting lipsticks in here that I want to finish throughout the year, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that was the last section of my declutter that I want to get rid of today. So I did face brushes, eye brushes, and concealers. I'm getting rid of all of these concealers. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little short declutter and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my brushes. And yeah, if you want to see some more, make sure to thumbs this video up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!